Single moms need our help, part two. Please be advised, single moms have been getting it done for a very long time. If we as men are to help them, the first thing we have to be is patient. That's the first thing is being patient. Brothers, if you are new to this relationship with her and that's your boo and she got kids or one child, she is going to have to trust you. It's going to take her time to open up. You must be a man of your word. Listen to me. You don't have to be a man of perfection in relation to shooting 10 from 10 from the line. But you do have to be a man of consistency because inconsistency builds trust. Do not come trying to help that single mom if you're not at least shooting 80 to 90 percent from the line. You don't have to shoot 100, but your percentage has to be high in terms of consistency as you are a man of your word and a man of the word. Your intent must be pure. You cannot, and listen to me, you cannot come in with the intent of, I want to help her with her kids just to get some. I want to help her with her kids because I want to be with her. Her kids are a part of her. For real. They're a package deal. If you're not intentionally wanting to be in their lives, I recommend you don't get involved in that relationship. If you are a man who understands that dynamic and you sincerely want to be in her life and her kids' life, when she opens the door to allow you to help, keep that same energy. When you two are not getting along, keep that same energy. When you two have misunderstandings, keep that same energy. When you two have conflict, keep that same energy. Keep that unconditional love flowing because remember, it's not about you. It's not about her. It's not even about the kids. It's about setting the foundation and a blueprint for the next generation to follow.